On ahead of the 2024 Lok Sabha elections, the Congress party released its second list of 43 candidates. Veteran and former Rajasthan Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot's son, Vaibhav Gehlot, has been fielded from Jalore, while former Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Kamal Nath's son, Nakul Nath, will be contesting from Chindwara. On the other hand, Congress a Member of Parliament Gaurav Gogoi will be fighting from the Jorhat seat in Assam. Former BJP leader who uh, Rahul Kaswan, who switched over to Congress, has been given the Churu seat in Rajasthan. This comes as a couple of days after the Grand Old Party released its first list of 39 candidates for the upcoming polls. Shubrana, my colleague, joins us on the broadcast to talk more about this. Shub, if you can hear me. Shub, if you're there with us. All right, we'll have Shub momentarily. But uh, the Congress, of course, uh, still struggling. Uh, to figure out how it's going to take on the BJP. The big news also came in just yesterday that Malika Arjun Kharge will not be contesting elections. He went on to clarify that, that he's 83 years old. He does not want to, in fact, uh, you know, take over the mantle or the responsibility of any constituency uh, at that particular age. But that has dampened the spirit and the mood in the Indian National Congress. It is still not clear uh, what kind of a competition uh, is... Uh, at stake here, but uh, Shubh uh, Rana is back with us on the broadcast. Shubh, if you can hear me. Yes, of course. Shubh, uh, you know, the second list for the Congress party is out. All their prominent names, current standing member of parliaments are also, in fact, uh, gung ho about fighting from the constituency. But the fact of the matter is that the mood in the Congress party is dull after Malika Arjun Kharge decided that he's not going to be contesting the Lok Sabha elections. Yes, it's Coach Vinit. If you are talking about the mood of Congress party, we cannot forget how prominently BJP is fighting this time. Because BJP has given the Akra of Chatsu parts. And when the Congress has been this second list of 43 candidates, Gaurav Guru is to contest from Asham Jharod and Dakulnath from MP Stilwara. And when you talk about Congress, you will see uh, the reputation the of Congress is being at this stage now. Because the Congress on Tuesday released the second list of 43 candidates across and when you talk about Congress deputy leader in the Lok Sabha, uh, Gaurav Zagoy will contest from Ashram Jorat. And when you talk about Manikarjun Kharge, yes, it's, it's itself a big setback. But you know, you have to see uh, the party seats which have been allocated because Kabal Nath and Nakul Nath have been fielded from Madhya Pradesh and Wada for the second time. And the former Rajasthan Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot's son, Vaibhav Gehlot, will contest from Jalot. And we'll talk about Rahul Kaswan, the BJP's incumbent MP who has joined the Congress in Delhi on Monday, has been fielded from Rajasthan Shuru. So there are also many big names in the Congress. But since Malika Arjun is their president and he is not uh, contesting this time, and it may happen that uh, the further list would have released, really, uh, would have. Uh, shown a bigger data, but uh, currently the situation at Congress is uh, is the same. And the party on Friday had released its first list of 39 candidates out of 14 Lok Sabha seats in Assam. The Congress announced candidates for 12 seats. So there have been uh, speculations around what Congress, uh, what seats will Congress give to other party members? Which is not included in their Yes, back to you. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.